look, we know what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a corrupt bunch, with corrupt mafia in power, as far as I'm concerned. And in order to distract the British public from the very, very righteous anger that they feel at the state of the country, they're using the classic divide and conquer strategy. Look over there, look at the brown people over there doing terrible things. I, I genuinely don't know how many people are buying into this BS. Mm. Um, I don't think it's as many as he might hope. Uh, I think it's really clear to everyone right now that this sort of dog whistling, this racial dog whistling, this attempt to sort of deflect, deflect responsibility from uh, the abysmal, and I mean abysmal performance that this government has given to Britain um, you know, is by stirring up racial hatred. So congratulations to Rishi, uh, really a star on the stirring up racial hatred card. Um, re the reality is that actually the Palestine marches are, uh, you know, a march for a ceasefire, their march for humanity. They are predominantly, I've been to many of them, attended by families and people who just really want an end to the bloodshed so let's put it this way if Rishi's listening and I really hope you are if it's extremists to want all lives to be equally important and to want a ceasefire then cool we're all extremists we'll take it but you know I just I just don't think anyone cares what Rishi has to say anymore he's a waste man like re literally that's one of the chants right on the marches is Rishi is a waste man and it's never ever been truer